Good morning, happy Bowtie Friday. Today on ETH Build, we're gonna talk about transactions. So up until now, we sort of have these uh, transactions being mined into blocks. Uh, it, transactions in blocks, packaged in blocks, mined into a chain, right? So we wanna talk about the packaging there, or, or at least what, what incentivizes the miner, other than the block reward, to pull our transaction out of the pool and put it into a block and mine it onto the chain compared to other people in the pool, right? Thousands of people in the pool, they're sort of bidding, right? And and so that bid is with this fee, right? So so I could have some fee in my transaction that says like, okay, I'm Alice and I'm sending five uh, to Bob, right? And uh, our nonce is one, the replay protection, if you've watched the distributed ledger episode. Uh, but also, we will, you know, let, let whoever mines this uh, take a fee of a nickel, too. Keep a nickel for yourself, Sonny. So basically, Alice is sending five to Bob, but also paying the miner uh, a nickel to put it uh, into, uh, into the chain. Cool. Okay, so uh, what does a transaction look like? On Ethereum, so we've got we won't have Bob and Alice anymore, right? We'll have addresses, and uh, the the value is actually this would be in way, not in in ETH, and and we'll kind of cover that in a second, also, and we're gonna kind of have this fee that will be not uh, in ETH either, but in Gway, right? So this will be Gway, and this is five way. We'll we'll talk about that in a second, but. Let's jump in and uh, look at this transaction and kind of start messing with it, messing around with it. So we've got, uh, I've got an account and I'm gonna just drop in a mnemonic there and I'm hooked up to the Ethereum mainnet there. And then I'm also running a, uh, uh, this little module to go get the price data from CoinMarketCap. So now I can, when I, when I see that I have, you know, 0.1 ETH, I want, I want to multiply that by this number so then I can just say I, I have a dollar amount, right? And that's what we get out uh, here. I'm going to hook that up. Okay, so this account, this mnemonic, uh, it's a 12-word seed phrase that I've dropped in here, has $23 on ETH. So what I'm going to do is we want to send some of that, right? We want to create a transaction and incentivize the miner to pick it up and put it on chain. So we'll plug our private key in here. Let's, uh, I'm missing the address here. Let's, let's wire up the address while we're here. Cool, cool. Okay, so now we need to send some to someone. So I'm actually going to duplicate this part. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wanna know balance and everything. Let's grab all of that. Uh, this is gonna get kind of messy. Let me move it around here. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna have two guys. I'm gonna drop in this guy's mnemonic here. It'll be a different guy, and he uh, probably, uh, I bet he doesn't have $23. Something's not wired up right here. What's going on? Uh, oh, I forgot to do this. I, I need to bring in the balance function. Okay, now, there's that guy. That's gonna go to $0. Uh, so I've got two characters here. Uh, we can call these Alice and Bob if you want, and uh, they are, Alice is going to send with her private key some value to Bob, so I want to put Bob's address in there. All right, and let's see how this is starting to sh take shape here. All right. So uh, we, we see that there's no from address here because it's going to be, remember we're signing and recovering with our key pair, so it, it will package it up and it will sign it, and then on, and then that'll go across the network. No one can tamper with it, and on the other side, someone can recover it and find that it it was indeed us that signed it, and so that would the, the from address is sort of derived. So, uh, also let's just ignore gas right now. But we've got our two, we've got our from that's being der derived. Right now our value is null because I haven't put anything in. But let's just put in a hondo. Uh, data is empty. Let's let's ignore that right now. Gas, ignore that right now. That's actually a limit. But gas price is what's important here, and that's what we're talking about. And what it is is it, it's at four billion, right? Four point one billion, which is actually a uh, gig away. So so we we're at four point one guay, uh, and that's just like it's just doing that by default. What we want to do is sort of be more strategic about it and see what's going on on chain right now. 
and we can see that this, this last block, I'll call it 242, had 78 transactions and uh, the gas price ranged from 35 to I think it was five. So basically we just we would need to be above five to be get mined into that block. So so let's go back to the gas price here and put in uh, 5.001, right? Just a little bit more. Okay, so uh, what I'm noticing here is we need to do a conversion to Gway. Uh oh, what did I do? To Gway, and what that does is just turns that 5.1, and now if we see that, it turns it into that, you know, 5 billion. And I put that into my gas price. All right. So now uh, I guess we should talk about way too. So I'm sending I'm sending a hundred what right? And so it's actually since you don't do decimals in uh, so so it's an it's an unsigned integer right? So there's no decimals. So what we do is we sort of have this uh, this idea that there are eighteen basically basically eighteen decimals and then that's where one starts. So so you you say even though the value on chain would be this giant number, we call that one e. Right, so one one way, one way. Right, does that make sense? How that's kind of divided up. So so what we need to do is also so if we look at our way, it's that number. But uh, what we want to do is go to a way to make the transaction. Uh, whoa, what am I doing? Here we go. Two way, and so if I plug that hundred in here. Now I'm sending 100 ETH, which actually comes out to that, right? And so I definitely don't have 100 ETH to send, so we'll have to look at this guy's balance. What is this guy's balance in ETH? Is 0.18, right? So, so homie, 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 0.18, we're going to send 0.5, or 0.05, right? Yeah. And that in way comes out to this, and you can see that. So we can see that these numbers are, since we don't have decimals, we kind of multiply them. Okay, so. There we go. So we got our transaction ready to go. We've got Alice's private key plugged in here. She's going to send to Bob. She she has 0.18, uh, and we're going to send 0.05, and we're ignoring everything else and saying that we're going to put in a gas price of, of five. And so we need to sign that, right? So when Alice chooses to sign that, it's going to shoot out here, and so we'll grab. Well, let's just sign it. Let's just sign it and look at it, right? Cool. There it is. There's a signed transaction. So that can go across the network. No one can mess with it. Uh, on the other side, someone can derive that it was Alice that signed it. Uh, and, and it will contain all this information of who we want to send to and our gas to go to the miner. So uh, what do we do with that? Well, we can go over to our blockchain block over here and grab the send function and plug that in there and plug that in there. Now we've got a, whoops, hey, what did I do? What have I done? This goes in here. Okay, so now we want to send that on chain. And when I click that, uh, there we go. So it gives us a hash. So that is the hash of the transaction. So basically I sent it to someone on this, this, this distributed network, right? And I said, hey, uh, here's my transaction. And they gave me back the hash or it's probably even cal it's calculated from the transaction. I have the transaction hash, it goes out on the network. Uh, and then what's going to happen now is basically there's this pool of all these transactions of these people uh, all bidding to get their transaction to go through. So uh, we can go look at the block. Uh, looks like 50 point, what, what was the smallest? Five? Oh, we probably got in. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to query the blockchain. I, I bet we're already, I bet it's already happened for our transaction. And we'll throw in this hash. Cool. Yeah, let's just put that on a timer. Yeah. Okay. Now this should show us our transaction. And sure enough, yep, block number, uh, we'll just call it 258. Throw that in here. And let's go, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. And, and, and let's sort, I'm going to sort by gas price, but reversed. Whoa, what have I done? Sort by gas. So I want to look at the lowest to see how close I was to the bottom uh, of the block there. Okay, so we can see, yeah, five. Oh, oh, look at us. Look at us sneaking in there at 5.001. Yeah, so there's there's old Alice, there's old Bob. Uh, no data, but we can see that we're in there for five way. So there we go. We just we just sent a transaction. So uh, the 
the next thing to look at is sort of that data field. What's, go what's going on there? So we, we are sending value, we're able to bid on it, we're able to kind of get, get our transaction recognized on chain. You can see that we just sent, Bob, Alice just sent Bob uh, that $6. But let's, let's look at one last thing here, and that is this data field. So we can send stuff along with our message, right? And it's actually going to be in hex. Boom, 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 boom. So what should Alice send? So she's going to send another six bucks over to Bob. And if we look at that, let's just turn that into that. And uh, she can be like, hey, Bob. Come on. No, no, just hey, Bob. We're just going to go with hey, Bob. So here's hey, Bob. Because we're, we're about to put this on the Ethereum main net. What, what are we doing? OK. There we go. There's hey, Bob in hash. It's going to, we're going to sign that transaction. Uh, it'll give us a, send it out to a miner, it goes out to the network. Uh, it'll give us a hash back, and now we're watching for that to get mined into a block, and there it did. Dun, 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 dun. Radical. So now if we go check that block, we should hopefully, oh man, I hit enter and it reloads. That's what's going on. Okay. So here is our block. Uh, where's the where's the dude rolling the five point zero zero one? There it is. Okay, so uh, there it went again. But now check it out. We sent a little data along, and uh, let's let's even go a step further and let's look at the the price that we paid for it uh, for for the last last piece of this. So I'm going to copy Bob's address. And I'm gonna go to, okay, here are the two transactions on Etherscan. So uh, from Alice to Bob, 0 0.05 Ether, which is $6 sent uh, for that uh, one penny transaction fee, which was uh, 5.001 GUI. Okay, so we basically crafted a transaction, we signed it, we sent it out to the network. Uh, within that transaction, there was this this gas price that we were willing to pay, and that incentivized the miner to mine it into the chain of blocks. Uh, then we did another transaction where we sent along some input data along with this. So we sent we sent the six dollars and thirty seven cents from Alice to Bob, but also uh, we we said, hey hey Bob, hey Bob. So uh, we, we said hi to Bob. We brought some data along with the transaction, and there's all, all sorts of really cool stuff we can do uh, now that we kind of have this, this call data coming along with it. And we'll get to smart contracts and a lot of fun stuff later. Uh, let's, let's look at one last transaction. So I just put this transaction from Alice to Bob uh, into the transaction pool, but with 0 .00, like 1.001 uh, GUI for my gas price. And so it's sitting there unmined, right? Like it's it's sitting in the transaction pool. We can see that it's pending. Uh, if we go look at the transaction pool, uh, so I have, uh, there we go. So I have a node running, uh, a full node running, and I can talk to that uh, locally. And you can just use the TX pool uh, thing, uh, TX pool in the Web3 section. But basically, we can see my transaction is sitting here. We can see my gas. But we can, uh, if, if we look at this, we can see that the pool is between one and 300. But if we look at the latest blocks that are being mined, you, you know, the, the smallest amount is like five, right? So, so we're just not incentivizing the miners enough. So we need to resubmit this transaction. Let's, let's bump it up to 10. Let's go big. So that's, that's way more than it needs to be probably. But we'll, we'll re-sign the same transaction with the same nonce but with a new higher gas price. And the network will say, oh, this guy's like, same guy, same transaction, is willing to pay more. Uh, let's see if we see it uh, update over here on the... Uh, basically, this guy, this, uh, I'm signing this and putting it out on the network and say I'm willing to, you know, oh, oh, that transaction? Well, I'll, I'll pay some more for it, right? And it'll speed it up, hopefully, and hopefully we'll see it get mined into the next block here. We'll see. So we're at 365. It, so hopefully 10 was enough, right? Let's see if it got mined yet. Nope, not yet. So we're still waiting for it to get mined. Come on, blockchain. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it got mined into block 366. Cool. And uh, there goes 367 already. But 
uh, that was it. We sent a transaction. Uh, we paid some gas to incentivize the miner to put it into the chain. Uh, fun time had by all. Happy Bowtie Friday. Thanks for checking out ETH Build. Uh, this was Transactions. We'll get into some really fun smart contract stuff and some, some other side quests soon. Thank you.